Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Sports Update. Hi, I'm Allie Stein and this is Sports on Location. And I'm Jill Nowaski. This is your weekly sports update. Both Cabrini men's and women's basketball teams had an exciting weekend. Both teams hosted their annual alumni games and had victories over conference opponents. The women started the day strong with a 93-51 victory over Keystone College. Sophomore Katie Skalski led the way, adding a career-high 17 points. The men also held their own as they hosted Karen University and dominated with a 99-71 victory. Sophomore Jair Green led the Cavs with a 22 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. Student-athletes here at Cabrini have proven they can be successful both on and off of the field. 67 of your Cabrini Cavaliers were named to the Fall 2015 Colonial States Athletic Conference All-Academic Team. Student-athletes who were honored achieved a grade point average of 3.2 or higher during the fall semester. Among the All-Academic Team are student-athletes who competed in men's and women's cross-country, field hockey, men's and women's soccer, women's tennis, and volleyball. Congratulations to all of the student-athletes who have been honored. Mo O'Connell was named Student Athlete of the Week. Let's take a look at what it takes to be given this recognition. Um, you know, it's an exciting honor to get. You know, you work hard all throughout the season and someone notices it. But, you know, the most important thing was that we got two wins last week. So that's all that really matters to me. She shows her leadership on and off the court. She'll stay up to practice and get extra shots up, and the coaches see that, and I see that, so I really look up to her. She's definitely really fun to be around with. She always has a positive attitude. Um, whenever we're in together, she's like, Gabby, like, you can do that. Like, you made that mistake, but just go on to the next play. She's really loud, so <laughs> that's always fun. Uh, the ultimate goal is obviously to win a CSAC championship, but you got to take it one game at a time. So I think every time we walk onto the floor, it's just to go 1-0 and that night. Mo is a leader on and off the court in everything she does. She knows what she's doing. She's, uh, she knows how to talk to people. She's really funny. She's down to earth, and she's honestly really great to play with. Just her energy. Um, on the bench, she'll get us to start cheering, like defense chants, and then when she's on the court, she's the loudest person there and like it gets the crowd excited and everything. I think I bring a lot of hustle, a lot of heart. So I think just trying to get people, you know, them hyped up for the game and make sure that they're in it and that they want to work. And I'm just going to make them make sure that they work as hard as they can. Because if, you know, you're not giving everything you got, why are we showing up? So I think just making people work is what I do. I'm honestly really going to miss playing with her next year when she graduates because playing with her this year has been one of the best times ever. Congratulations to Mo O'Connell for being named Student Athlete of the Week. We look forward to seeing you dominate this season. And now for your national sports update. Super Bowl week kicked off this past Sunday by some of the best players in the league showing their skills and the NFL Pro Bowl, which was broadcasted live from Honolulu, Hawaii. Pro Football Hall of Fame wide receivers Jerry Rice and Michael Irvin served as the NFL Legends captains of the 2016 game. Team Irvin, coached by Winston Moss, crushed Team Rice, coached by Andy Reid, with a final score of 49-27. to Russell Wilson earned offensive MVP honors after throwing three touchdown passes, all in the first half of the game, and defensive MVP went to Michael Bennett for the hard work in Team Irving victory. Although a Super Bowl appearance was not in the cards for the Seahawks this year, their players truly came to play and dominate in the 2016 Pro Bowl. The Sixers nearly beat the Warriors in last Saturday's matchup. The Sixers, with the worst record in the NBA, entered the game 7-49, while the Warriors came to Philadelphia holding the top seed in the Western Conference. Harrison Barnes made the game-winning shot in the final seconds to secure a 108-105 victory. Barnes's teammate Draymond Green admitted to committing selfishly unselfish acts in this Saturday's game causing seven turnovers and risking a loss while attempting to record a triple-double. The Sixers are set to take on the Atlanta Hawks tonight at 7 p.m. Thanks for watching Sports on Location. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Allie Stein. And I'm Joan Nowaski. Have a great week, Cabrini.